for book one, proposition number 42 of Euclid's Elements, to construct in a given rectilineal angle a parallelogram equal to a given triangle. So this is a construction proof where we start with this triangle ABC and some given angle, angle D, and our goal is to construct a parallelogram that's equal in area to this triangle and contains this angle D. So to start this, we use book one, proposition number 10, which allows us to bisect a line. So let's cut this line BC in half, and we can label this point E. So now we know that BE is equal to EC. And now let's connect the points A and C with a line. So we just created the line AE using a postulate number one. And now from here, what we wanna do is at this point E to construct an angle that's equal to this angle D. And we can build this construction because of book one, proposition number 23. So let's duplicate this angle here and create a line going up that way. We can call this F, this line here. So basically this angle D is now equal to the angle F E C. And now what we wanna do is construct a line parallel to the line B C, but starting at this point A. And we can do this because of book one, proposition number 31. So let's build this line here through A that is parallel to the line BC. And let me remake this a little straighter. And we can call this point over here G. And now we wanna do basically the same thing, but instead of making a line parallel to BC, we wanna make a line parallel to EF through this point C. So let's draw that. And this is parallel to this line EF. So let's write this down. First we had that the line AG is parallel to the line BC. And now we have that the line EF is parallel to the line C and I'll label this point up here H, so parallel to CH. We also wanna label this point here K. And now let's focus on our original triangle again since it's been cut into two triangles, ABE and AEC. And notice that the triangles have equal bases and they end at the same line that's parallel to the bases. So we know because of book one, proposition number 38, that these two triangles are equal to each other. So triangle ABE is equal to triangle AEC. And since triangle ABC is essentially cut into half, since this triangle and this triangle are equal to each other, we can write that triangle ABC is twice triangle AEC. So triangle ABC is twice triangle AEC. But we also know because of book one, proposition number 41, that this triangle AEC and this parallelogram KECH, they share the same base and end on the same line that's parallel to the base. So because of this book one, proposition 41, we know that this parallelogram is twice this triangle. So let's write that, that the parallelogram KHCE is equal to twice the triangle AEC. And notice that triangle ABC and parallelogram KHCE are both equal to twice this triangle AEC. So using common notion number one, things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. So triangle ABC is equal to parallelogram KHCE. And recall that what we were trying to construct was a parallelogram that's equal in area to the original given triangle and it contains an angle here equal to our given angle. 
So we've constructed exactly what we wanted to, and we can end with QE 